<laughs> so I'm on a bike to eat. It's raining. And it's set to rain for a while. I might put my waterproofs on and just say, sod it, get out there. I want a bite to eat first, because so I skip breakfast. All right. Mmm. And these, oh, this. Pickle chili. <laughs> Copper mores. Mmm. <coughs> Chili's up a nice cup. <coughs> oh. oh, shit. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh, God. Got uh, two two new pillars. These are um, hyperallergenic uh, because um, I've got an allergy to dust, dust mites. And it's been fine for years. Every so often, if you go into a real dusty area, it, it, it kicks off a little bit. Oh god! But um, for the past sort of three weeks in the van, it started to kick in again. <laughs> Oh God! Um, especially sort of in the morning and then uh, at night when I come back in, um, moving around on the bed and stuff. So um, I've given the whole place a sweep around, and I've um, washed uh, two of the blankets that are hanging up at the doorway just by here. Um, that green, the two green ones. I've washed them at the pub where I'm working on a high heat to kill any dust mites. That's actually helped. That has. Um, and I thought, well, I'll get uh, these two hyperallergenic uh, pillows as well as, so that'll help. Uh, I'll get rid of the other two. Um, and I've got to go and uh, sort of, I think the bedding needs, might do the blanket or something like that yet, but uh, I'll, I'll have to keep it down sort of thing. So um, I've been taking uh, antihistamines, but I can't keep popping them every day, like, you know, twice a day or whatever. So, uh, yeah, so hopefully, uh, well, that's definitely going to help anyway. And um, it wasn't too bad this morning since I brought the, the blankets back from having them washed. It's calmed down. It's still there a little bit, um, but you don't want that in a living environment where you just, uh, you know, where your eyeballs are itching and you're sneezing and, you know, your, your, your nose is blocked and you're constantly blowing your nose and stuff. It's just, you can't live like that. So they are stemming there. Right, so I've got to go and charge up these batteries still more. I'm going to just keep, keep doing some driving around um, and uh, get these batteries charged up. I've got uh, about three hours um, until I've got to be in work, so uh, I'll have a drive around uh, the wider area, around, around Whitby and stuff. So. My right ear is proper blocked now. It's been blocked for the past week. I've um, been putting some of that um, juice in, and I put a load in the other day and I've got a good old rub. And I think what I've done is I've just shoved everything down the uh, that little ear canal. And since then, it's been blocked 24 7 Bosch. Can't hear anything other than a <laughs> Works just uh, asked me to come in on my day off if I can. I said I would. So. Uh, I've got to pay off a couple of debts, so I'm getting there. It's nearly finished. It's taken me uh, nearly two months. Mm. So I'm basically clearing off all my debts, so I'm reducing my overheads. 
because I'm looking to do a big trip uh, in the new year, but I'll let you know about that later. YouTube editing uh, for my channel is really difficult at the minute because several things. The main thing is my batteries are pretty low at the minute. My solar panels aren't bringing in a lot of energy because of the change of the season, even though there's 400 watts up there. I'm in uh, next to some trees, so that's I'm in shade, which isn't good. And also, it's, it's they put loads of crap onto my solar panels, so they're dirty. Oh, yeah. Not too bad, but there. Definitely could do with a bit of a clean. Yeah. I'm working all the time as well as I'm going into work today as an extra uh, shift. So uh, that's just under 50 hours this week I've been working. Um, so ideally I could need to get like a laptop that's powerful enough to do the editing. Have some boiled egg for breakfast. You're gonna have three boiled eggs. Ooh, three boiled eggs. Look at that. Mmm. That's lovely. I don't know if you can hear the wind whistling through the uh, the fan there. But um, I'm high up on the Yorkshire Moors. I spent the night on the Yorkshire Moors last night. Windy all night. Uh, not too bad. The reason why I stayed up here is because uh, I've got an allergy. And um, I want to get all this uh, bedding out the back there and give it a good old shake and sweep out there. Can't really do it on the street. Um, so I'm up here and I'm secluded. I can just get on with it. It's a nice sunny day. So I'm gonna clear out the van for the next uh, couple of hours, get down to it and then get into work later. And hopefully that should calm down uh, the, uh, the the allergy. I just need to wipe down some of the uh, uh, sides and just sweep through underneath the bedding, but especially shake the bedding. It may be that I have to change some of the bedding. Um, and upgrade that, but we'll see. We'll see. Well, that's what we're doing anyway. So we're here on the moors. Oh, it's a bit windy out there. Oh, my nose is starting to run badly. All this dust kicking up. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely dust mites. <laughs> oh. oh wow. All right, clearing that bit out. I haven't finished yet. I've got to get right in down here. It's uh, triggered my uh, allergy, dust mite allergy. So, uh, proper. So, um, right, I'm gonna have to take a histamine, anti histamine. Uh, it's because I'm just kicking it all up, so. Oh, wow. Well. Uh, yeah. Dust, so much dust accumulates in here. It's like it's just crazy. I have an allergy to it. It's not great. I get one of the hoovers. I think hoover is what I need oh, to clear out all this. No wonder I've been sneezing like hell. Look at it.
Oh, wherever the dirt clean. Wow. Okay. Well, that's just taking several hours. Uh, I'm gonna go back into town, find a sp uh, parking spot, have a coffee, and uh, read my book. Chill out. Shut up. Just put some eardrops in. It's uh, it's been about three weeks now, and yeah, I probably should go to the uh, clinic and uh, get it syringed out for 55, 60 quid. Right, so I've just finished work at the Bar Hotel and uh, they've got a, um, like a, a laundry room there. So I'm a super fortunate uh, to be able to work launder my clothes here every couple of weeks. So uh, yeah, that's, that's super uh, convenient. All right, it's quarter to one in the morning. Just got back from work. It's starting to get a little bit cold now, like. Swapped over my blanket for my summer blanket for the duvet last night because it was definitely colder. So, uh, yeah, but we're all right, still alive, having fun. Forgot to mention, uh, my mate Lee has uh, lent me his little uh, his little Hoover tonight. Hang on, I can get it out. This little thing. So I'm going to uh, give this little whirl. This is uh, all for getting rid of the the dust mite sort of scenario. Uh, keeping down the uh, the allergy reaction. So you see behind me, I've got uh, those. That's just carpet, and that's going to gather dust. So and my head goes down there. So uh, I just want to like uh, Hoover that lot there. So uh, cheers, Lee, if you're watching, mate. I do appreciate it. Thanks for lending me this. You're a star, mate. <laughs> oh, and a uh, little update with my ear. Uh, it's still blocked. Uh, it's still ringing twenty four seven. So I've uh, been given a number to ring uh, for this woman who uh, swinges or just sucks your ear out. So she's, uh, I've arranged for her to come down to the pub uh, Monday night, 5.30. And uh, yeah, we're going to go into the laundry room. She's going to just suck whatever's in there out. So uh, thankfully, uh, I'll be uh, able to hear again because this is, it's it's like having half a head. Not loads of fun at the minute, I must admit. Parked up. Uh, I'm going to try to get this laptop. And, uh, <laughs> all right, I'm going to bed. Oh, fuck. Oh. Uh, a typical morning when I wake up. Blocked nose due to dust allergy. Eyes a bit sort of uh, itchy as well. So, still not sorted this dust allergy thing. I'm going to get an air purifier. Because I think that will help. Uh, so, I'm still battling on with this bloody thing. Uh, so, if I don't get it sorted, then, well, it could potentially end my van life. Because you can't keep living like this. I've got a slight sore throat as well. It's not a, it's not a cold. This is uh, just irritation. So, anyway, there we go. It's a sunny day, so let's get out there. Today's Sunday, I'm going for a Sunday lunch uh, to celebrate the fact that uh, this week's pay will pay off the last little bit uh, on my two debts. <clears throat> so it's taken me two months. I've been plowing, just chucking money every week into the debt. Uh, bosh, bosh, bosh. I mean, last week I chucked in 317 quid. Um, so it's taken me two months to clear all of that. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm going a bit of a celebratory two days off and enjoy myself and uh, get up with some editing and whatever. So what we're doing now is we're going to go into <clears throat> the next stage, which is saving up for the next big trip, which I haven't told you yet, but uh, I'm going to be going to... <laughs> Just had to come back in from town. I then just got out. Um, <coughs> my allergy, my allergies just kicked off. I thought it'd be all right, but I'll take a, a antihistamine. I'm taking Puritan <coughs> every day. It's just getting ridiculous. Oh. Uh, 
it's making your nose fizz. I'm sneezing. I'm just blowing my nose every second. I mean, I just got into the first shot in town. I've been out about maybe half an hour, an hour, and the uh, nose is just dripping at the counter. And I'm sneezing in the cafe. And then I go and sit down outside to clear my head. And I go and sit in chewing gum. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> oh, of course, my ears still blocked. It's still ringing. Uh, oh, it's pretty miserable, I tell you. <clears throat> um, I think it's... I think it's these, these loungers. Uh, I think I have to get rid of them. I need some sort of, I don't know, I need to, that was a temporary measure anyway, but it's getting bloody ridiculous. It's, um, this could absolutely 100% end my van life. Oh, so I can't live like this. Bloody ridiculous. Some of this for my ears, still uh, blocked. Got a lady coming around today to unblock it, she's gonna suck everything out. So, uh, that'd be nice to be able to hear again uh, without having this ringing all the time because that's been uh, affecting my balance a little bit as well. And it's been a bit miserable, really, you know, constantly like uh, not hearing people. Um, I was in the bar the other week, well, it was last week, was it? God, it's been going on for a while now, I said so. I was in the bar and um, overheard, well, this old boy was talking to me. And uh, I thought he said he was going to wash his balls in a bowl, then go and smoke a joint. He didn't say that. He said something completely freaking different. So this is the issue with, uh, with my ear. Crazy. So I'm going to get fixed today. Um, but it has been sort of wearing me down. I'm okay, I'm not moaning or anything, but it's, uh, it just starts to get like, oh, especially after it's been a few weeks now. And I've been trying it and trying it, and then I've had to wait another sort of week to go and see this woman. Um, but I thought I'd give it a go myself, but this normally it clears up, but this time it just hasn't. So it's been a constant block. Um, so it's been a muffled and uh, a constant ringing. And that's been, well, the best part of three weeks, four weeks now. Um, so it's just been absolutely annoying. Um, and yeah, the other things obviously is, uh, is, is the allergy. But I'm getting a, um, I've been working on that. I've been hoovering up, I did hoovered up the back. Today's a bit better actually, so uh, that's good. But I'm going to get a uh, air purifier. So that should be coming today. So hopefully that will completely uh, sort everything out in regards to that. Uh, still got a little bit of an issue trying to get his laptop. Um, so I'm going to try and ring them up again today. Uh, it's just some sort of like security thing where I don't know, the website wasn't uh, playing ball basically. I just had to ring up and even ringing up there was still an issue. So I'm going to go on my laptop today and my old laptop and try to order it over the phone and laptop at the same time and see if we can sort it. I don't know what's going on but it feels like I've been going through uh, a bit of a uh, almost like a dark month with you know, all these blockages, like blocking my ear and then blocking the nose and then blocking getting this laptop and various other things. It's been like a, a month of, no, nothing happens. This one, everything's blocked. And you can keep trying, but no. So I think, I feel that this week I'm coming out of that blockage. And it's interesting, uh, you know, I've had these obstacles and it's interesting that my ear and my nose have been blocked up at the same time for two different reasons. Uh, and I'm getting obstacles and blockages from being able to move forward. So uh, I think I'm coming out of that this week. Mm. Anyway, let's go and get some of this down here. It's like... Oh, I'm not putting that light in. Just put like th two or three drops in. Oh. Might be all right. It's a bit cold, it makes you jump. This is to uh, soften the wax, so it makes it easier to clear out once she comes over later. 
I'm going to the pub and getting it done in there, in the laundry or something, laundry room. Morning! So, it's golf weekend here in Whitby, um, and I'm going to be working uh, the whole weekend, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. So, you're going to experience, uh, I'm going to experience golf weekend from behind the other side of the bar. But today, before I get out there, it's, uh, I've got to get this uh, inside the uh, bulkhead, it's insulation. I'm going to show you this that stuff it's to create a thermal break um up here now last year uh last winter was my first winter and i had one layer of thermal wrap up there bit closer on i had one layer of thermal wrap up there and um then the carpet and i was using just this little gas stove here for the heating i've now since got a, a diesel heater however um it got uh mold up there and i might put the uh, link to the video up here now um so i cleared the uh, carpet off and uh, added two extra layers of that thermal wrap but that's not what that's designed to do really so um it's still great in condensation up there um because it's like a metallic sort of uh, bubble wrap so uh if i put that fabric that material up there it should create that thermal break and not have condensation up there because what's happening is it's uh, i'm putting on my bedding up there and clothes and stuff and they're getting wet they're getting damp so it's uh it's not it's not good it's not good so uh yeah let's just turn i've got a little light here yeah so if you can see look um the sides there are absolutely fine because that's got 50 mil of of insulation behind that but it's just along here now it's dry at the moment so that's good um so it's a good day to go and get this uh, sorted so i know it's golf weekend uh, I want to get out there, and I'm working at five, um, but it's a good day to uh, get this done. It won't take too long, so uh, we'll have a coffee first, though. So. Right, let's get on. Right, this whole van is in complete disarray at the minute. Doesn't help. Uh, just got to get to work all the time, six days a week. Right, so I've got to empty everything out of here. I've already started doing that. You can see in the front here, look, it's, uh, it's pretty, pretty chucker. It's, uh, it's not pretty, but it uh, doesn't have to be. Remember, that's got it there, like, and it's just overlapped here and here. So there's, there's four strips to it. So, yeah. That should be all right, that should do it. Fingers crossed, no more condensation in here. Friday golf weekend, rained off. Oh no, oh God, oh shit. Right, just starting up my main PC. There's no, uh, there isn't much life in the uh, the batteries, main batteries here. I've turned the engine on, so it's gonna feed some energy into the batteries so I can start the PC. Um, just tried starting it a minute ago, it didn't work. It's, it's old and it's dodgy, it needs sorting out. But um, I'm going to try and transfer some files and programs and stuff onto my external hard drive and then bang it onto the, the new laptop, which is uh, that bad boy there. Um, so, yeah, if that starts up, I don't know where is going to. That's what it did last time. Uh, let's see what we can do. Still not doing it. Fourth time. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, I'm just trying to get the conversation under control. It was, uh, I woke up this morning, I know it's a little bit blocked. Um, so this machine is working, but today it's a little bit, so I've had to go and pop a, uh, an antihistamine. I forgot to mention, yesterday was my day off and I had this uh, um, lady come around, I think she was like a nurse or something, um, but she was recommended and she brought this machine around and checked out my ear and then sucked all the wax out. It was, she said, and she showed me, showed me a photograph, absolutely chock-a-blocked with wax. So that's all cleared out, um, so I can hear again properly, which is great. Uh, they're still ringing in my ears, but she said that will calm down, just let, because your ears are a little bit um, agitated, so just let it all calm down. So my nose is unblocked, my ears unblocked, so it's after like three or four weeks, so it's been like, this month of blockage and obstacles. Let's try and declutter this van. This is all from new products and stuff that I've been buying recently. So it's Sunday, third day of the golf weekend, and it's raining again. It's been raining all morning. So, golf weekend 2023 is a washout. We're going again tonight. Uh, it's all closed. I ain't got out of bed yet. I'm just like saying, you know what? <laughs> Not doing it. The fan heater, the diesel heater, stopped working. I'm getting the air decode E3. Now, I did a bit of research the other day, it started up the other day, and found out that if you don't have enough life in your battery, then it won't start. So I tested that by turning on the engine, gave it a, a couple of minutes, and then it started up. Fine, yeah, no worries. Did the same thing last night, started the engine, got up to 13 volts, and still showing the same code. So, I don't know whether the, there's a component that's uh, gone inside the diesel here, but it's a right pain in the ass. Uh, it's the this is the first winter with the diesel here. I've used it maybe half a dozen times and now I don't want to work. It's like, oh, oh. God. It's like one thing going wrong after the other. Okay, battery is on 12 volts. That's low. There's no solar today, absolutely not. And I'm not driving anywhere, I remember working soon. Um, I'm going to turn the engine on for a bit just to put some extra little juice in in the batteries. Well, this is one of the little issues with uh, staying in one place, working in one place, um, not being plugged in. Uh, yeah, it's just a little a minor issue, one well, major issue actually, because you've got no power. I've got enough power to uh, you know power the, the, the lights and fan and whatever, little bits and bobs like that, um, but it's constantly on low, so 
Let's go turn the engine on. All right, engine's on. It's gonna be, uh, just putting a little bit of juice in to the batteries. I've got a 30 amp uh, Victron battery to battery charger. Uh, I could, you could put some in, um, but it takes a bit of time. So I think what I'm gonna do is get another uh, 30 amp battery to battery charger. Not yet. Um, won't be for this winter, it'll be for the next one, I think. So I'm gonna get that set up. I think it's about 250 quid, something like that. Uh, so I'll get that installed at some point next year and uh, then I'll have 60 amps going in uh, which we set me up a lot better for next year um, <clears throat> I can't have any more than 60 amps because my batteries will only take 90 amp charge at one time when if it's if I'm driving and I'm for so it's good 60 amps in and then I've got say just under 30 amps coming from my um, solar's maximum right which you won't do 30 amps but up to 30 say it's 28 or something um then yeah that's your that's your 90 it's within 90 so i can't go any more than that because the batteries wouldn't take it oh it's bloody miserable out there anyway as you can see the uh the spare part came today the uh, the new glow pug right as you can see uh the new part came today it's the um the new glow glow Plug. <laughs> As you can see, <laughs> uh, the new glow plug came today uh, for the diesel eater. Um, so that's good. For all the other bits and bobs, it comes um, kit comes with like the new uh, uh, gaskets, and it also comes with that little special spanner, which is great. Um, thing is, is um, it's working now. Look. So, if it ain't broke, I can fix it. Finally, after about three or four weeks, start to get this allergy situation under control. And that's just a lifesaver because at one point, you know, it was really sort of thinking, I'm thinking, I don't know whether I can continue doing this or how long I continue doing this for. I mean, it definitely threatened my van life uh, experience or, you know, travels. Because I was waking up every morning sneezing and, and coughing and it was just, you know, there's this high sort of allergy uh, reaction. And sometimes it would take till about one, in the afternoon, even being outside to you know eventually clear up, and that's even with the antihistamines. Um, so it, it was just you know too much to live like that. So um, with all the things that I've done in this video, I finally got it under control, and I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend getting one of these. Uh, an air purifier, yeah. So if you've got an allergy to dust mites in your van, um, then yeah, totally get something like this. Um, obviously, you've got to sweep out the van, keep your dust down as well as and, and your bed in. Changing the, the pillows to hypoallergenic uh, pillows. I might change the mattress to a hypoallergenic hyper uh, mattress type thing. I don't know yet, that's something we've got to look into. But uh, yeah, all of that. You know, everything I've done is finally got things uh, under control. So, uh, thank God for that. It's like, oh. Anyway, I've got work soon. So, got to get going in it. Um, so, if you've got this far, thanks for watching. I do appreciate you. And uh, be well. God, I need a crap.